What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Young Texas and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Now in today's video I'm bringing you guys a gameplay with the M13's Blue Jay variant unlocked through the Battle Pass in Season 4 of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I think this is an amazing gameplay and I'm sure you'll agree. If you do, be sure to smash the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss any of my uploads. For even more from me, check the links in the description to follow me on my social medias including Twitch so you never miss any of my content. Check out Scarati Gaming as well. Links for our social medias as well as our Discord, Twitch, YouTube, website, and merchandise store are in the description as well. Other than that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and that's been it. Peace. Here we go. Didn't give me enough time after the animation to get my gun up to be able to shoot him. Wow, wow. Two realistically free kills I just lost, but uh, was able to get two, two free ones afterwards. There we go. Oh, here we go. go let's get inside quickly get the stair that guy was running in place I'm not sure if he was lagging or uh, what was going on but that definitely wasn't meant to happen Oh, wow, that was, that was purely me just instinctually shooting, thinking, all right, well, he's going to come around this area, right, so... So here we have the class setup for the Blue Jay variant of the M13. So let's just get straight into the attachments. And first on the muzzle you can see is the monolithic suppressor. On the barrel you have the Tempest Marksman. The under barrel you have the Ranger foregrip and the ammunition you have the 60 round magazines. Now this does leave one extra attachment slot which I highly suggest you using. But for the purpose of the video I wanted to bring you guys a gameplay with the gun exactly as it came. So let's just get straight back into this gameplay. Here we go a little something different here for round two with the Blue Jam 13. Trench. I do like this addition um, to the map and obviously um, the Easter egg that is inside this map is quite quite interesting as well. There are numbers scattered around the map um, that you have to find and once you find them you have to shoot them uh, in the correct order 
into the uh, key code over the bunker. That's actually the first number there, is, uh, is two. Um, this is the second number, three. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to show you all where the numbers are. Two, three. Um, over here is the third number. It's inside this barrel here. Five. Other ones up here. Six. And I'm dying, unfortunately. I do want to show you guys them. Uh, the, the other one is uh, on the underside of this bridge, actually. It's it's right. Uh, it's, so it's this bridge. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's one of these bridges here. Has the fifth and final number. Um, it's on the bridge. Actually, no. It's, it's, this, it's on this trench here. It's the first trench, actually. It's not... Uh, those bridges. It's uh, this bridge right here, actually. That has it uh, right there. One, so. That is all the five numbers, and then you go in there and you shoot them over to the bunker over there, and you shoot them into the keypad, um, and then it will say access granted on the keypad, and then it will open, and you'll go into the next, you'll go inside the bunker. And then you have to shoot another code in the keypad that's the same every time. It's on the little telephone down there. And then the phone will start ringing. you got to answer the phone. It will open the second bunker. And then you have to uh, destroy the miniguns inside, I believe, to be able to uh, go in. Because the miniguns will keep shooting, and eventually they'll close. So you actually have to destroy The door will close, the second door. And you'll have to uh, destroy the miniguns before that happens so that you can get inside. So, fun little Easter egg that they added onto this map. I'm a uh, big, big fan of it, actually. Shot in the back from across the map. Not, not a big fan of that but Oh, unfortunately, we had quite quite a few tags there. Um, there we go. Go bank those teammate. Ooh. This little shot I had on them.
yeah, so, uh, right before this game play ends, remember, go get those, uh, numbers in the order that I showed. Shoot them into the keypad here. One bullet in each number will do. Um, and that's it, and then it'll, it'll, it'll start opening. Which I think is, is a really cool thing that they've added. To have an Easter egg like that in a multiplayer map. Very cool. Alrighty, with final impressions on the Blue J M13. I mean, like I said, uh, I think it's the best M13 variant in the game. Absolutely. And, you know, it, it's it's aesthetically appealing as well. So, uh, yeah, definitely an enjoyable weapon to use. So, I would definitely try it out. If, uh, if you haven't already, I would definitely try it out.